What is up, people? Welcome to the home of home to home to the lamest is can't even know my own slogan. Um, I still have my throat. Uh, this is home of the lamest taste, the vinyl casket. Check me out on Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube. All at one word, the vinyl casket. We can subscribe, like, and comment. Um, I haven't made a lot of wrestling content. I've, th I've done a couple prediction videos, and I used to do live reactions uh, and commentary. Um, with that being said, it's something I've always wanted to get back into. It's something I can't really get back into. I can't do the live ones on Wednesdays. Um, Saturdays, I'm busy. You know, when they're live, I'm I'm not in a situation where I could sit down and stream. And do a whole setup. Uh, I could probably do a really nice setup now with with the living room with the new apartment, but I can't. So with me, hundred percent confirming that I will be at um, Forbidden Door on you know, June thirtieth on Long Island, which um, I'm going to be do trying to do prediction videos. Wednesdays, Saturdays, if I have a chance for either Collision or Dynamite for the next month and a half. Uh, trying to, you know, I'm obviously, I watch the snippets and I rewatch the shows when I can, but I'm just trying to submerge myself a little bit more. I also really want to do content, also kind of want to live stream, maybe be being there on TikTok or something, you know, so I want to build up a little bit of hype, maybe a little bit of a fan base. Going in. Obviously, before we do these predictions, love Danhausen. The summer is almost back. Summer of Danhausen. He's on the indies right now, but he is coming back. Okay, we're gonna pull up. These are all the individual cards. The only one thing we're missing, because for some reason I could not find online um, the full match card in the proper format. If you can't see, you know. Uh, how they posted it in one of their stories. I couldn't find that anywhere online, but the individual match cards are here uh, The only thing they're missing is that there's going to be a face-to-face -face between uh, Roderick Strong and Will Ospreay. That's just a promo segment, which is probably gonna be awesome um, It's probably gonna be really cool. I know that Jeff uh, that that uh, Jeff Cobb has been Teaming up. Oh, he's right there. Is teaming up with um, what's his name? Freaking uh, ROH champ, uh, Kyle Fletcher. So that's two members of uh United Empire, as well as the leader of United Empire, all gonna be at the same show. So I'm assuming that Undisputed Era is gonna show. Uh, Undisputed Era, Undisputed Kingdom is gonna show up, and maybe those two guys show up for him. Maybe that would be cool. So that's my prediction for that little promo that they're gonna be doing. Okay, we'll we'll start. I guess we could start in the way the the card goes. So from top, and then boom, 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 boom. So we'll start off with um, Dax Hardwood versus Cascus. Uh, I always forget Okada. I can't say his first name. Uh, who's currently Continental Champ after winning off Eddie, Eddie Kingston. Um, that's going to be a sick match. I really enjoyed the singles push they were giving Dax um, while they were Triple A and I and uh, and Ta Japan I IWGP champs. They were holding both titles for a really long time, and then it captured Ring of Honor or or the opposite. Maybe they were Ring of Honor. Yeah, they were Ring of Honor. And then they got AAA, and then they got Japan. And they had three titles. It was a big deal. Uh, but in the midst of, of that reign of FTR, they were really giving Dax in 2022. 2022, they were giving Dax a really solid singles run. He was having really good singles matches against star guys, like really big matches, really fun matches. Um, obviously, as their contract kind of thing happened and they disappeared, they lost the titles and they showed up again, you know, they've kind of not focused on the singles run, but he's a great singles competitor. Uh, out of the two, I would say he's my favorite. Um, and then going against Okada, who is a technical genius, the Rainmaker, um, over a title that doesn't really matter, but it's fun to have. I... I enjoy a plethora of titles because they all mean different things and they all give different levels of competition to all the different shows. Cool. Uh, prediction. 
Okada, Okada's going to retain, but I would love to see Dax win because, as I said, he's a great singles guy. Okay, moving on to... All right, this is cool. So TN, TNT title, we have... I'm trying to find it on here. No, oh, there it is. Um, Adam Copeland calls out... Oh, oh, it's not even a match. Okay, Adam Copeland calls out Malachi Black for double or nothing. So this is going to be a promo where they set up a, ma- a big match for double or nothing. Um, do I think Malachi is going to get the title? Probably not. Do I want him to? Yes, he deserves to have singles gold. He hasn't. He's had uh, trios, and that's really it, right? He never won the Intercontinental, which should be the title he goes after. Um, because I would love to see House of Black really get into it with uh, Undisputed Kingdom. Um, so yeah, Malachi is going to lose. I don't think he should. I personally believe that he should get this title, but I don't think he's going to be the guy to dethrone Adam Copeland, formerly known as Edge. Okay. Then we have Tony Storm versus, uh, Harley Cameron, who I don't really know who, who she is. I feel like there's a slew of women wrestlers showing up in the AEW women's division to just take on Tony. Um because Britt Baker and um whoever the girl was, I always forget her name, that was champ right before Tony and you know that whole thing that happened. Um they both are out. They were like a huge thing and they've just de- decimated. I know maybe they're hurt or whatever, but they're gone, which sucks because those are two Big names that need to be there. Paige doesn't seem to be going after the title anymore, even though she already had it. Um, Ruby Soho should be the one to really dethrone Tony, in my opinion. But it doesn't seem like they're going to go that way either. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what they're doing with that. I There's per- certain people. Obviously, Tony's going to win. Um, there's certain people I believe should be at the caliber to dethrone Tony Storm. I feel like the problem with the women's division is that the caliber of talent is all over the place and it's not correctly focused in the correct spots. Like, I'll skip the next two matches and I'll go to uh, Will Nightingale. Oh, it's a contract signing. It's not even a match, but it it will be a match. So, Mercedes Monet, formerly Sasha Banks. Uh, is signing a contract for double or nothing to face Willing Nightingale, Willow Nightingale, who is currently the TBS Women's Champion. Okay, cool. I love Willow, Long Island Strong. I love Chris Statlander. I love those guys. It's right, amazing. Um, personally, so I, Mercedes Monet should be in the world title picture, being someone that had. Uh, the top women's title in Japan uh, as you know I understand the feud here is that Willow Nightingale defeated her in a four way match to crown the um, women's New Japan pro wrestling strong women's title Um, I think uh, Mercedes got got hurt in that match um and that's why she couldn't um, get it. And now there's you know, a few where she had that title that should have been hers and whatever that storyline is. I understand it, but she came in as a big talent. She should be going out against Tony. So in that match, I believe that she'll get the title. Uh, obviously, this is a contract signing, so I believe that Will is going to hand it over because Will is just a mid-card solid talent. Okay, uh, Hook. Uh, Hook returns. Okay, that's gonna be a cool segment. I love Hook, even though he doesn't talk. Hope I would love to see Dan Housen show up. I love this mix to come back. Hook Housen was amazing. Okay, uh, then we go into this tag title. Um, where is it? All right, uh, John Moxley and Brian Danielson. John Moxley currently having the top Japan title. Uh, going up against the Ring of Honor title holder. Um. Kyle Fletcher and Jeff Cobb. So, does he have? Oh, Jeff Cobb is currently uh, New Japan World TV champ. 
I forgot that. So that's really cool. So they're both members of United Empire, which was a faction formerly in Japan. Um, and a lot of their members are now in AEW. Jeff Cobb has been in a- working with AEW a lot. I don't think he's officially all elite, but he's been in a ton of AEW matches. Um, it's cool to see them tagging together. It's cool that they both have titles and they're going against um, John Moxie, who has the top Japan title, and that's the where they made their name. That's really cool. Um, doesn't mean anything. So either person can win. Either tag team can win. I would think... What are we? Because there's three titles here, so there's three guys that are being pushed, right? And then Brian Danielson is a big name, but he usually is on the on the giving end of the push. So I think Kyle Fletcher and Jeff Cobb will win because they're the smaller names and. They have the lesser important titles, so maybe they'll win to boost them going into uh, Forbidden Door. Maybe they're a tag team in Forbidden Door, even though I can't believe they wouldn't put the TV title up. Um, interesting. But if they're going to push House of uh, Blackpool Combat Club, I think that, the, you know, I want, I'm going to go with Jeff Cobb and Kyle Fletcher. Um, and then we have, okay, we have this tag match. This is an actual match. Yes. Oh, so this is for the tag titles. I obviously, I believe that Nick Jackson, the young bucks are going to retain, uh, their heels right now. They're going against Matt Seidel and Christopher Daniels, two people that were big names at the beginning of that helped start AEW. They were top performers. Um, Matt Saito was hopping around the Indies and Impact, I believe, and has recently came back a lot, uh, as well as Christopher Christopher Daniels has been rele- relegated, relu- has been in Ring of Honor a lot. Uh, he also has like a management role or whatever, training role in the company, uh, but he has a lot of beef with the Young Bucks because they broke the blood vessel in his eye. So that could be like a whole big thing right now where they try to take the titles from him. Um, I don't think it's going to happen, but I'm going to go Matt Seidel and Christopher Daniels. Matt Seidel has been being pushed a lot, whether winning or losing. He's been around a lot lately. Uh, Christopher Daniels being a big name in the company that will always be there. Um, and I think this feud could be, if the feud goes the way it should, I think it would be great. Okay. And then the final match here, the should be the big match but probably won't be is the aew world championship this is defended by swerve strickland going against brian cage obviously this will lean towards a squash match but will be a lot longer than a squash match uh basically mobile embassy has blown up brian cage is turning on swerve there's no way they put the title on Brian Cage. They're not going to end Swerve's run. Swerve's red hot. So that's my prediction there. And that's really all I got for you guys. Um, if you're excited for this, obviously this starts at 8 p.m. It is currently about to be 5 p.m. So that's real cool. So if you watch this video, guys, or you've already seen the episode tonight, get in the comments and discuss. I'll discuss with you guys. Thank you guys so much. Remember to... Do me a massive favor here, okay? This is the home to the lamest taste, the vinyl casket, all one word. You can check me out on Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube, where you can subscribe, like, and comment. Hit the bell for much, much more. Do me a massive favor and stay lame. Boom.